Hello, we will practice convolutional neural network. Let me open Google Collab. Collab research google.com slash hashtag create new. And then the file name is, uh, file name is convolutional neural network Python class okay so in order to do convolutional neural network we have to import a library keras import keras and then uh, for practice let me import mnist the famous mnist data set import keras and then data set and then actually from import uh, mnist yes mnist and then we will build a sequential model so information flows one end and go out at the other end so from keras models import sequential model sequential model also we will use layers so from Keras and then layers import. We will import dense network. I'll explain dense network. If dense network means uh, there is a dense connection between two layers, two adjacent layers, uh, between two adjacent layers or nodes are connected to each other, and then drop out throughout is we will randomly drop some nodes for robustness to prevent to prevent overfitting so we intentionally drop randomly some nodes some percent of nodes and then flatten by flatten we will convert cnn network to the user standard conventional neural network and then from class again layers let's import and then the important one convolutional one conv yes because we will analyze image so two-dimensional and then max pulling so max pull Max pulling to the max pulling is again and max pulling is the uh, way to downsizing the data by selecting the most important element. Okay, and then for graphic import import mat plot pi plot as plt and then import numpy as np. I think we are ready. And then let's add another code block here. And then, well, MNIST image, MNIST image is basically uh, 28 by 28 matrix. So row, number of rows, image number of columns, is basically 28, 28, 28, 28. We know that. That's the structure of MNIST, structure of this MNIST data set. Okay. And then let me, yeah, increase. Okay. And then next, yes. So this is the basically input image dimensions. Okay, next, and then 
uh, we will split the data uh, between training and test set. So split MNIST data set into training and testing set, test set, train and test sets. Okay, so we have X and Y, X is features and Y is a target. So let's say, mm, so X train and then Y train. So we have training and testing and then X test, Y test. Okay. So in MNESTED, we have already uh, split the data set. So we will load the data. So MNIST and then load on the data. So we can load the data. Huh. So there is error, X test, X train, Y train, MNIST load data, Y test, load data, X train, Y train, X test, Y test, MNIST load data. So let me run again. Okay, so it is running. So we download the data from here. Okay, data set, we download data. So let's check some data set. So let's say some images. So uh, PLT, let's see the image, PLT image show, and then we can see X train. How about the very first one, the very first data? The very first data is, uh, it is five. How about so the uh, fourth one? Well, it is clearly one. Yes, so uh, this is data. How about 90? Yeah, this is clearly six. Okay, clearly six. Okay. And then, of course, if we can see print, print X target uh, Y train, Y train. 90, if we take a look at this, well, it is a clear six. So yeah, this is input image and output, it is a target is up to it is six, right? It is six. So basically we will train the network such that we will show this image and teach that this image is this train six. We will keep doing this. We will train this one, okay? That's what we do, what we are going to do. And then uh, how about this one? Let's see, uh, let's actually let's import from tabulate, import, tabulate. And then we can also see, let's see, uh, print tabulate. How about if we can take a look at X train 90, okay, so image is a six. So how about data? If we take a look at this, then, well, we have like this one. So it is zero and then, well, it, we have a six over here and then in the shape of six, we have some non-zero numbers, okay? Yeah, so let me, yeah, so this one looks like six, right? So zero is the new data and then, yeah. So basically we will plug this one, input data, they are the input, okay, they are the feature. Okay, we show network this one and then tell them this is six, okay? And then I can show 99 and then 99, 99, 
Okay, 99, it is clearly one, right? So target is one. So next to the uh, network, convolutional neural network, I will show the, this data and teach the network that it is one. We do oh, that one and then train the program, okay? That's what we are going to do, okay? And then next, what we have to do is reshape. We need to reshape. We have to reshape uh, X, X, okay? X train, X test. We have to reshape X because the CNN, the CNN, let me, convolutional neural network, because the convolutional network only accept only a four dimensional vector or four dimensional vector. Okay, so we have to reshape it. Okay, so, so let's see the shape basically. So, well, actually let now, uh, let me hide this one and then print X train shape. Shape is, uh, well, we have 60,000 number of images. We have 60,000 number of images and each image is 28 by 28 matrix, right? As you can see. Okay, so it is like, it is just three dimensional and we have to make it four dimensional vector, okay? Four dimensional vector because CNN accepts only a four dimensional vector, okay? Here, Okay, so and then so C if you see and then sixty thousand we have sixty thousand right six thousand the value six thousand the value six thousand represents what is the number of images, T number of images in the training set, okay? And then we have a 28 by 28, right? The 28 represents the image size. Image size, right? The image size 28, 28. 28, 28 image size. We will add one, okay? We'll add one, okay? What one, one to represent the number of channels. So like this, so MB, okay? So let's say uh, now new X train, new X train equal, we have to reshape X train, reshape, reshape such that it is the 60,000, 28, 28, it is the shape and then we will add one, okay, over here. Okay, now it is four dimensional. And similarly, we can do X test. But for test set, it is actually, we test the size is 10,000. So we will do this one, okay. So here, then what does it mean? What is the channel, okay, here? I had one, one number of channel. So the number channel one, so T 
the number channel equals one if if the image is in grayscale image is in grayscale grayscale from 0 to 255 channel equals some three channel equal three means you can guess means r b g scale so the color red blue green scale so here we don't train color for image we will train the gray scale so channel equal one so i reshape this way okay this way so now well print let me check x train shape okay x train shape and then yeah x train shape x train shape yeah so if we the shape then hmm ah it is not it is test sorry so yes train shape is 60,020 20 by one so yeah we reshaped it successfully yes. so as i told you the very first one x train shape the very first one is what it is the it is the one it is the number of training samples training samples so we have a 60,000 number of training samples right so likewise if we do test then we have test samples we have 10000 number of test samples now okay next okay we have to convert next need to convert target values into categorical variables categorical variables okay so we need this categorical variable so here so what do you mean by categorical variable so so we will see categorical variables categorical variables okay categorical variable is in sometimes it's also called like yeah in statistics or categorical variable is variable that can take one take on one of the limited and usually fixed number of possible values assigning each individual other unit of observation to a particular group or nominal category on the basis of qualitative property okay so it's a qualitative property so let's say the example example is a blood type a b a b o so we can in computer, computer code we can call it one two three four but one two three four is just not high and low it is just different category right like a political party they are different category we have to assign number somewhere somehow numerically code it but high number does not have mean some high value right type of rock identity of particular world right like a colors something like that right a categorical variable that take an exit two value is termed the binary variable 
like gender, male, female, right? Something like that. Okay, so in our example, well, here it is one. We have a number from zero to nine. So we have 10 value, but you know, in our image data, image data, like nine is not higher than seven, right? They are just different category. We will show basically image data and we want to match that image data into the different category, one of the 10 categories, right? But in our data, it is coded like one, two, three, something like this. If we run the code this way, well, there is order. And I want to distribute the order. And I want to destroy the order. And I want to treat 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as different category without order. And then in Python, we can do that. We can do that. So, yeah. So, well, convert target values into category dummies, category dummies. So we have Y train and then Y test. They are like numbers and then we want to make it cate categorical value. So we can do that. Keras utility utils dot to categorical. Okay, very convenient to categorical and Y train. And how many categories? We have 10 categories, right? Actually, it's a writing down 10. I can write 10 equals uh, what? 10 equals number of classes. And then I will put num classes. Okay, number of classes. The number of classes is 10. Okay, likewise, I copy this one over here and then Y test. Okay, so I can make a categorical value. Okay, and then let me check our data set. So, first, print. First print of the what print of the uh, Y now training set shape. Shape is 60,010. 10. Okay, so shape is now 10. Okay, because I have 10 categories. How about test? Uh, sorry, test that shape like this one. There should be the same. Uh, sorry, uh, well, I have to learn from the beginning. So, okay. So yes, 60,010 category. And then let me change the color block. And if we print, print y train of the first, let me print the first uh, five element. Then, well, we have 10 categories, so you get zero, one, two, three, four, five. So five is coded as this one. So if we have one at the fifth, uh, that's five and then zero other right. And this second one is, what does that mean? It is zero, right? Because in the first place, it zero's place, it is one and the others are zero. So it means one. So this is now category. So clearly this one and this one, there is no order. There is no order between them. This is like five, this is zero, this is four, this is, this is one and this is nine, 
right? And then they are different categories and without order. So now we can run the code, okay? How about testing set? You can also see the testing set. Testing set, let's see only three. Why test? Yeah, similarly, yeah. So we have a first, in the test that the first one is seven, right? This is the two, now this is one, right? This is very clear. Okay, 